Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Random Street Theater, and I am trying to get it started, so I have myself two cans of uh, Five Hour Energy Orange Side. Extra strength. Tastes better, works better. Sometimes you're thirst, thirsty and tired. Zero sugar. Yeah, for every thousand subscribers I get, I do, of course, purchase one of these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean then pulls a pint of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. If you feel so kind, just comment, like, and subscribe. Doing your part for a better world. I am thirsty. I am thirsty, but I'm getting tired. And it actually doesn't taste bad. It tastes sort of like diet orange soda. Now, again, these were on sale, and I don't like diet things. I don't like zero sugar things. They tend to be bad for me. They tend to make me feel bad. But in a world where this is the thing I can find for a good price, this is what I'm buying. I, As I film this, I'm currently not being worked to death, so I don't need energy drinks. But I have work to do on my house, so I'm doing that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to push it, you know. Uh, so I have work to do and I just need the energy. I was really doing a number on this ice, by the way. And I can tell you, in addition, it's not taking the cold well. It's one of those things about some beverages is that you need to leave them for a bit for the cold to kind of seep their way through. And I mean, all you have to do is grip this and you can tell right here where the ice is, it's cold. But down here at the bottom, it's not. So if you drink this too fast, it's not going to be cold. This is probably something you should keep chilled if you want to drink it. And I mean, again, I am not a big fan of this product in general. I, I haven't had a five hour energy in years. And here they are trying to get to the lucrative market. This doesn't taste bad. I personally don't care for the zero sugar energy drinks because it gives people one less reason to drink them in moderation because they think well I'm not gonna get fat no but you could get very sick so just understand that energy drinks if you have um well what is that okay this has something like you know 20,000 percent of your uh, vitamin b12 apparently So, yeah, you know, I don't know how much caffeine it has, but damn, that's a lot of vitamin B12. Kind of don't know if I want to finish this now. That's just a lot of vitamin. Do I have another energy drink? No, I don't. Not in here. But, yeah, that's, that's a lot of vitamin B12. And, of course, you know, the B vitamins, the B vitamins are there. Uh, they, they counteract whatever it is that makes you tired but they do blunt your reflexes do understand something that if you are tired and you need to get home and you're thinking of reaching for a five hour energy pull your ass over and get some sleep okay do not drink this stuff and think well i'm trying to get home because for one as as implied it affects you for at least five hours takes six hours to leave your system i believe and two you know it does it does impact your ability to drive so it's like yeah when when i'm on duty and i need need that energy boost to keep going this is a fine thing to have within the first two hours of my shift okay after those two hours i need to stop okay and if i'm going to work you know that's the time for me to film one of these videos normally is because, all right, I'm going to go to work tonight. I need to just pop that energy 
and then you know you start out strong and you slowly get weaker and weaker I do prefer to have energy drinks on hand when I'm at work, but I've found that, you know, what works best for me is I'll just run my coffee pot with nothing in it, take the hot water, throw it in a pitcher, drop some tea in there, and then have myself some iced tea, and that works pretty well for me. But then maybe that's because I'm not trying to party it up. And I mean, yeah, look, this tastes good enough so that if you put... Uh, sweeter spirit in here probably wouldn't be that bad of a drink I mean it is exactly where I want this kind of energy drink to be it is not so good as I would crave it and it is not so bad as I want to spit it out it is simply there it's or it's actually a little bit on the flat side it's orange drink but you know what that's part of the charm isn't it so yeah, I can tell you this is definitely working. I can already feel it working. I can already feel like I'm going to be able to pop the card out of this thing and work all night and not really have to worry about it. But in addition, I mean, you just need to understand that this is definitely not good for you. It is not something you should drink even one of a day. I would say this is the thing that, that you drink... You know, it's if you are if you are at the end of your week, and you need to do a seventy-two hour um, uh, caffeine purge, this is the thing you drink at midnight, okay? Because yeah, I can tell it's pretty tough. It's probably going to make me crash, but I mean that's it is that's what it's for. It, it's to get you going. So yeah, like I said, I can really feel it. It's already in my system. Uh, I would, I would probably. Another thing that I would point out is if you're doing a 72, and at the end of your 70, 72 is a uh, the amount of time it takes for your body to readjust to caffeine, or to readjust to not having caffeine. So if you if you are a night worker, what you want to do your last shift of the week. You stop drinking caffeine at midnight, and then you come in on your Monday, and you don't drink anything with caffeine in it for the whole weekend. So by the time you drudge in Monday, you feel terrible because your body has finally gotten through uh, its need for caffeine. And then, you know, that's the hardest shift there is. So you just drink one of these and you pop right back up. For your health, you should definitely do that as often as possible. Okay, but this 5-hour energy extra strength, definitely very powerful. I can really feel it working. Orange sliced or sickle? I don't know what... That could be a CL or it could be a, uh, a D. I honestly don't know. But anyway, this is definitely some powerful stuff. Handle with care. I'm Richard. Greetings, humans! It's your old pal Randall the Rat again, and I'm taking a break from eating your delicious face to remind you to comment, like, and subscribe. And why should you do that? Well, for one thing, see this bling here? That, 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 awesome, isn't it? Yeah, got a dragon on it. This is what you get if you go to the Conqueror and start the Great Wall of China Challenge. Yeah. Walk long enough. Bike long enough. You can plant five trees and get this awesome necklace. Which the owner of this channel, Richard, has done for you. Because he wanted to plant five trees and get an awesome necklace. And for every thousand subscribers he gets, he also buys a bracelet from 4Ocean. And they pull a pound of trash out of the ocean. So the more money he has, the more of these challenges he buys from the Conqueror. And the more trees he plants. For you! So if you comment, you like, and subscribe, he can buy, buy more bracelets, pull more trash out of the ocean, and plant more trees. Isn't that awesome? Shouldn't you be doing that then?
be smart, click, click that like button, or I'll eat you. Might eat you anyway. You look delicious.